Quick troubleshooting tips for pins that do not move on the wizard. First, you must do a proper lockout tagout procedure on the gantry head or heads on the production line you're going to be working on. Make sure there is no physical obstruction, like debris, down in the rail or in the gearbox. If there is any debris, remove it and try to move it again and see if that fixed the problem. If not, proceed. The only tool you will need is a speed wrench with a 7 8 inch deep well socket. As you are facing the end of the table showing the nuts for the rail you are having a problem with, place the speed wrench onto the correct nut of the problem rail. The left nut controls the top pin and the right nut controls the bottom pin. Use caution when turning the wrench in either direction. Turn it at least one half turn. Hold on to the wrench tightly. If the electric part of that rail is working, it will try to return the pin to its original position, rapidly spinning the wrench and possibly striking your hand. So if the problem rail is trying to return itself, allow it to turn the speed wrench in a controlled manner. If the problem rail returns itself to the original position in one direction, then verify the same operation turning it in the opposite direction. If it returns when moved in both directions, then the problem is not in the electrical parts. Call the MyTech Automation Customer Service Department for help. If you have no resistance when turning the speed wrench one half turn in both directions, then the most likely cause is that you have blown an 8 amp fuse. The best way to check the fuse is to swap it with a known good one. First, do a proper lockout tagout procedure on the rail electrical box. Here is the location of the fuses in the electrical box. Once swapped, reverse the lockout tagout procedure. Now use the PC to move the rail in question. If the problem rail now moves, it's obvious that was the problem. Do another proper lockout tagout procedure on the rail electrical box and replace the fuse with a new one. If the rail has any resistance or if the motor growls but fails to return the pen to its original position, that means the problem is in the motor circuit. This also means your fuses and cables are good. The most likely problem in this case is that the DC motor region card has failed. Consider the scenario where the top one rail gives us this resistance or the motor growls and does not move the pen back to its original position. We will swap the top one and the top two cables and the bot one and the bot two cables and then swap the two motor cables. Now try moving top one using the PC and if top two does not move, then the problem is in the region card for top one. If top two does move, then the region card is good and the problem is outside the electrical box. This leads to a bad brush in the motor, a bad motor, or a mechanical issue. If none of these quick troubleshooting tips have helped solve your problem, call the MyTech Automation Customer Service Department.